Since the initial year one nerf to auto rifles in Destiny 2, they've struggled to retain relevancy in the competitive playlist. This is partly because using an auto rifle requires visual on the target. You need to maintain a line of sight. And a typical thing that good players do is they use cover. As a result, hand cannons are a more superior option. This trend can be even more compounded when you consider the strength of a hand cannon like the Not Forgotten. When you take a look at the on-screen text, you can see that the Vlaukadan auto rifle sports a time to kill in between a 150 and a 140 RPM hand cannon. It's worth mentioning that the most competitive role of each of these weapons has longer range than the Vlaukadan. When considering a 150 or a 140 RPM hand cannon, the perk kill clip doesn't make a tangible time to kill difference unless you have the Kindled Orchid with both Rampage and Kill Clip. When talking advantages of the Vlaukadan, you will have a better time in an unobstructed 1v1 without cover. If your opponent has 4 resilience or less, you can actually kill faster than a 150 RPM hand cannon. And if you pick up the kill, Kill Clip makes a tangible difference in time to kill. You could combo this even further by using any sort of damage booster like Inertia Override from the Missile Titan, Sunspots, Empowering Rift, Foe Tracer so you can hit some body shots and still hit optimal TTK. While this sounds good on paper, it pales in comparison to the effectiveness of a hand cannon, especially when you consider team fights. It goes without saying that hand cannons do a lot of damage in a single shot. For an auto rifle to compete with that, it has to shoot the target three or four times. You also have to consider the special weapon meta, aka shotguns and sometimes sniper rifles. Specifically for shotguns, if you and your opponent slide out of cover at the same time, and you're slightly out of one hit kill distance with the shotgun, he has a hand cannon, you have an auto rifle, he shoots you once in the body, you shoot him two or three times in the body, he's done more damage than you, you both switch to your shotgun for the finishing blow, and he kills you because you have less health. Now, when talking about sniper rifles, auto rifles are not even in the conversation because of the last word. Let's be real, the last word does literally everything except for range better. So, you would have to want to run a sniper, yet also have a ranged option, which then leaves you exposed to shotguns, which in my opinion, are a little obnoxious right now. After hearing all this, if you're still intent on using an auto rifle in the most competitive setting, I recommend pairing it with a mountaintop because it has sticky grenades, and if an enemy walks over it, as close as they can to the blast radius, they get tagged for 180 damage. This actually combos with the Velalcanen so you could clean them up in one single headshot, or worst case if they didn't hit the full splash of the grenade, two, maybe three. The mountaintop can also be used as a mid-range sniper rifle or a close-range shotgun, assuming you have the skill to make it work. In some first-person shooters, the auto rifle is known as the noob weapon because even if you miss a little bit, even if you don't hit the head the entire time, you're still hitting them. Whereas if you miss with the hand cannon, that's a lot of downtime between each bullet. As I've grown as a first-person shooter player, I actually find that hand cannons are easier to use than auto rifles because I call auto rifles trace weapons. To get the optimal TTK, you have to maintain headshots for a very long time, whereas with the hand cannon, you can like lasso your mouse or control stick wildly, and as long as you're on their head, within that time frame between bullets, you're going to hit optimal TTK. So in other words, I feel that you can make more mistakes with hand cannons than auto rifles. Of course, everybody doesn't agree with this. You don't have to, that's just my opinion. At the end of the day, outside of those fringe playstyles I suggested with the auto rifles, I don't feel that auto rifles do enough to warrant use in the competitive scene. On screen right now, you're seeing my interpretation of effective weapon range. If I had the keys to the kingdom and could make any balancing changes I want, I would start with a very slight reduction of shotgun range. We're talking like a meter here or there while maintaining its pellet consistency. If shotguns are losing a meter, then I think sidearms, submachine guns, and potentially the last word should lose maybe half a meter to make up for the difference. If you combo this with a slight buff to precision damage in the auto rifle and a slight decrease to body shot damage in the auto rifle, this will make the mid-range option of an auto stand out, whereas previously you would pretty much just use a hand cannon every single time. If you look on screen now, you can see the changes are very slight, but it results in the auto rifle being a more attractive option. If you wanted to keep the last word range, for instance, you could also just improve sidearms and submachine guns in a way other than their range. I also am advocating for no high cows, less universal flinch on the primaries, but especially less flinch on the blast furnace. 
I understand that when the Destiny community hears the word nerf, they think it's bad, but in this case, I think that it could possibly open up some new options when combined with a handful of buffs. I'm just scratching the surface here, I'm playing Armchair Developer, I understand it is so much more difficult than I'm giving it credit right now. So, as of now, I actually do like the weapon balance, it would just be cool if auto rifles would maybe be seen at the top level. But if they're not, I'm not going to cry about it. I actually think that weapon balance is pretty good right now. Just the slightest of adjustments to continue a trend of improvement. I'm of course not going to let this topic die here. I'm going to continue using auto rifles in Legend Comp, trying to squeak out just a little bit more utility out of them with fringe playstyles. After all, at the end of the day, it's not realistic that everything is going to be perfectly balanced, and in a special sort of way, I like that auto rifles are slightly less superior because it feels that much better for succeeding with them despite that. As per usual, thanks for watching guys, and let me know in the comment section what you're doing with auto rifles to maybe make them work better in the competitive playlist. See ya!